if you were going to pick one thing for your NFT project and you could only do that one thing, uh, Lena, which of these social media would you pick? Mm. It's going to depend on your demographics. How about you? How about your project? Um, I did Twitter because of crypto Twitter. I don't even know how to explain crypto Twitter. <laughs> It's not like a Facebook group where you join, right? You start to follow the keywords and then from there you start to follow the people and then pretty soon you're, you're all over it. But it's just anything involved with crypto on Twitter. However, if you're doing something that is more niche, like say, for example, you're going for the um, New York City enthusiasts, um, they might be more prominent on Instagram or maybe they use more Facebook. Yeah. It, it really is going to depend on the research that you do and what you find and where you see that there's more active communities at. That's where you're going to want to do it if you only do one social media. I would recommend, though, that you at least do a couple. Okay. And what's your second go-to? Is it Discord? Facebook. Facebook, yes. Okay. Yeah, Facebook, because Facebook is a little bit easier than Twitter because they have all these groups. And so you can go in there, you can get to talking to people, um, then you can start talking about your project, you get to know, I mean, it's, it's yeah. And it's what most people are more familiar with because of how long it's been around and how popular it is. Um, so it is definitely a good one. Next, I would say Instagram. I mean, those are gonna be your big three when it's art related and discord i would think that that discord would be up there because of the i don't know the international educated community that tends to be all over discord crypto crypto people are used to being in discords as much as gamers are now um discord was originally intended for gamers and then it's starting to work its way up as a more social media thing now it's got live streaming you can have um, different channels in there for different uh, you know, topics. Um, if you intend on building a community, a huge community that you want to have interaction with, then Discord would be a good idea. It's not necessary though. I got dozens of requests for it and so I have a Discord. <laughs> Definitely like, you know, research, look into the community that you're doing. Keywords do this all the time, right? I go on to, um, famous people's Twitter feeds when they post something that's kind of relevant. And I'm like, oh yeah, well, and with my charity project, this and this and this, you would not believe I get people that come and follow me just from, <laughs> just from the comment that I put on there, um, which is kind of cheesy, but hey, it works, right? People read through those comments religiously. So they'll see yours and then all you got to do is spark that little bit of curiosity, right? Everybody goes down the little rabbit holes or what's this and what's that? And this. so eventually they'll, they'll find you. <laughs> so in the XRP community, there's about 10 to 15 people that are really well known and followed because they let people know like, Hey, this is a scam. If they think it's a scam, they'll question people. Um, so what I started doing is I started to follow them. Um, some of them have forms to fill out if you're a new, you know, NFT collection. So I filled those out. I have messaged with them. And I said, if you ever have questions about legitimacy, hit me up, right? I reached out to them first and then they would promote my project as well. So they would say, you know, hey, there's a new NFT, a new token coming out. This is their, you know, their at on Twitter. Reach out to people that you know have a lot of followers that aren't celebrities. The celebrities are harder to talk to because everybody wants to talk to them. But if you just find people that have a good amount of following and say, hey, this is me, this is what we're about, um, you know, you can ask them to share that if you want to, or maybe it's somebody you can collaborate with. Um, you know, those are just some of the things. But yeah, I had a bunch of them that just started to share my project. And so then of course I got all these other followers as well. That's how we're doing the week and a half. <laughs>